Hello. I'm Janina Gavonkar, and I play Commander Aiden Versio, leader of the Inferno Squad in Star Wars Battlefront II. <laughs> I'm also an advocate for in-depth cinema caliber story in games. That tweet from John Boyega was like the tweet heard around the world. It spoke for all of us. When can we play a Star Wars story? We don't want to just relive the movies. We've watched them a million times. What we want to do is have a new and authentic untold story. A story that delivers new perspectives and enables us to play as some of our favorite Star Wars characters while also introducing new ones. And just like Rogue One tells an essential Star Wars story ahead of A New Hope, Star Wars Battlefront II will tell a new Star Wars story that helps bridge the gap between Return of the Jedi and The Force Awakens. It's good. <laughs> but EA didn't just stop there. We loved the previous Battlefront of 2015, but we wanted more. Star Wars Battlefront II is much bigger than the previous title, with more than three times the content of the first game. Yeah. Now, I'm all about that couch co-op, and they're bringing it back, with the return of Skirmish, so I'm gonna be cuddling up with someone playing me some Battlefront 2. In multiplayer, there are more heroes, more vehicles, more planets, I've been to some of them, more space battles and starfighter assault and deeper progression and customization as well as content from across all eras. But, as we know, Star Wars is not just some checklist of great features. How does Battlefront II play? The team at DICE in Stockholm has some of the most talented multiplayer designers in the world, and they've been working with the EA Game Changers to make sure Star Wars Battlefront II has the multiplayer we're all looking for. These Game Changers, they basically get like tapped on the shoulder because they're the best Battlefront players in the world, and then they get secretly flown out to Stockholm. As long as they provide valuable feedback, they get an early look at the game. Sounds like an awesome program, and if I didn't suck at multiplayer, maybe I'd get an invite. <laughs> That's true. So, let's hear more from them about their time at DICE. After the release of Star Wars Battlefront 1, the community thought there should have been more. And the good news is this, the developers have been listening. I'm really excited to let the Game Changers get their hands on the game. This is going to stay, right? Sorry? Oh, the clean UI look is going to stay. There's still time to change something if it's not working. Oh my god! My first impression with the game is upgraded. All three eras are going to be in the game. Oh, okay. <laughs> We've got a whole bunch of new features. One of the biggest ones that a lot of fans are excited about is the class system. They split the characters up into different classes. They have different weapons, special abilities that you can customize. It affects your health. It affects how you are going to support your team. There's going to be more content. You're going to have to get used to a lot of new different techniques on how to play. The gunplay and the weapons have completely been redone compared to the first Battlefront. Now there is a lengthened skill gap in it. It feels a lot better and go, oh, okay, this gun feels kind of more real, less floaty. Which is your favorite hero so far? We're introducing a system called Battle Points, which will allow you to become not only heroes, but other things on the battlefield. As you're helping your team play the objective, you gain these points. There's such a plethora of things to spend it on, vehicles, or even coming in as a hero. And the coolest thing, I think, is the level of customization, not just from a weapon standpoint, but the actual character's own abilities. Collaborating with the Game Changers is always a really great working environment when you're trying to figure things out. I mean, to know that you're giving key feedback to make it a better experience for everybody, it's like putting your footprint out there and saying, look, I'm part of this. Uh, is everyone in position? Yeah, ready. 
So I'm going to participate in making the trailer. It's a whole different level of fantasy. All right, recording. So in three, two, one. And now, on behalf of the EA Game Changers and DICE, this is the world premiere of Star Wars Battlefront II multiplayer gameplay. Yoda, Darth Maul, Wookiees, Kylo Ren versus Rey. I, I, I watched that thing like 20 times backstage with my mom before this even started. My mom's here, yes, it's a big day for me, I'm sorry. So. <laughs> okay, so we have even more exciting things for you. In just a moment, you two personality, I, Justine, shoutcaster Alex Goldenboy Mendez, and DICE developer Paul Kesslin will showcase Assault on Feed, the world premiere of Star Wars Battlefront II's multiplayer. Yep. We've got 39 game changers ready to go, head to head in a 20 versus 20 match. Battle on Feed, and I'm gonna take the 40th slot. We'll see. <laughs> okay, but you're not gonna wanna miss this because like maybe you've seen some teasers, but this is the real thing, okay? All the bells and whistles, all the newness, but before we take you there, another big Star Wars Battlefront fan has some exciting news. Hi guys, it's John Boyega here. You thought I wasn't gonna turn up, yes I was, but I'm sorry I can't be there with you because um, I'm doing a play in London, but I do have some great news. Obviously you know I'm a massive fan of Star Wars Battlefront 1, and now we're going into the next chapter with Star Wars Battlefront 2, and I'm very, very excited to share this news with you. We've seen Yoda, We've seen Luke, we've seen all the other characters, but where's Finn? Finn will definitely be a part of Star Wars Battlefront 2 alongside with Captain Phasma as part of the first season of free content. And there's more. On top of that, we also get to play on the new planet crate that you saw at, on the uh, Last Jedi teaser trailer uh, in April. So this is gonna be an exciting time. I'm gonna be playing. If you see Finn running around whooping some ass, it's me. Um, so I'm getting ready getting set for you guys to play with me on Star Wars Battlefront 2, and I'm excited. Let's play. <laughs> okay, but did you listen? Finn and Phasma are headed to Star Wars Battlefront 2 this holiday, and it will be free. Yes. The team at DICE heard our feedback loud and clear on the previous Battlefront and are committed to keeping this community together with themed seasons of content post-launch for all players at no additional charge. 
So, the first season, inspired by Star Wars The Last Jedi, is only the beginning of the additional content coming to this game. All post-launch heroes, maps, weapons, and vehicles will be free for everyone who owns Star Wars Battlefront 2. Yes. And yesterday, EA announced that players who pre-order will get early access to multiplayer beta and Yoda's epic lightsaber mastery star card. So, let us recap. New essential Star Wars story. Multiplayer across all three Star Wars eras, space battles, split screen co-op, and free content that will keep us playing together for years to come. Yes, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I am so honored to be just a tiny little part of this team making this amazing game. I can't believe they let me do this today. And <laughs> I can't wait to play the game in its entirety in November. And I get to start right now. So I'm going to go pick up my controller and I'm going to throw it over to I, Justine, and Golden Boy and Paul to take us to Assault on Feed, the world premiere of Star Wars Battlefront 2's multiplayer. <laughs> 